SmartScope M5 SK1 is a digital dermoscopic camera that enables examination of the entire skin surface and documenting patient data through digital images and video. First, let's go through the basic use and settings of the device. Power on and off the device by pressing the left soft key. Attach the SK-1 optics module by pressing it firmly into place until you hear a click. To detach the module, slide the release button. Image settings. Capture mode. Still or video capture mode is selected in the SK menu. To activate the menu, press and hold the right soft key. The icon on the screen indicates the selected mode. Illumination level. The camera has 360 degrees of white LEDs as a light source. The level of illumination is adjusted by pressing left and right arrow keys. Altogether, there are 10 brightness levels with a default value of 5. Focus mode. Focus mode can be switched by short pressing the right soft key. The icon on the screen indicates the selection. M indicates manual focus, A for autofocus, and Z indicates zoom. It is recommended to use autofocus. When zoom is activated, Z will appear in the right top corner of the screen. There are four zoom levels. One times resolution, two times, four times, and six times resolution. You can zoom in and out by pressing the arrow keys up and down. The icon on the left of the screen will indicate the zoom level. We will now look at some of the other menu options. Shoot mode. With autofocus, there are two shoot modes you can select from the SK menu, normal and auto. When normal shoot mode is activated, the shutter operates like a standard digital camera with a step trigger. Pressing the button halfway first focuses the image and the image is taken when the button is pressed all the way down. With the auto shoot mode, you only need to press the button halfway down and the camera will focus automatically. Focus window. The focus window feature helps the user find the right focus target in the image. You can hide or enable the focus window in the SK menu. The focus window is activated by pressing the middle key until the icon F appears on the screen. Move the red focus window box by using the arrow keys. Zoom cropping. When zoom cropping is enabled, the camera will save the zoomed area instead of the whole image area. By default, zoom cropping is always turned off and the camera will save the whole image area instead of the area that is visible on the screen when the user has zoomed in. Skin or portrait. The skin slash portrait feature allows you to take images from close up and from a distance. In skin mode, the camera will focus very close and the module will need to be pressed to the skin. In portrait mode, the camera will focus further away and allow you to take images, for example, of the face or any large section of skin. Change between skin and portrait mode by using the left soft key. The icon on the screen indicates the selected mode. The selection can also be made in the SK menu. Skin body map. The skin body mapping feature can be used for marking the body part that was photographed on the image file name. The camera will display options of different body parts after the image was captured. Choose the correct body part by using the arrow keys and soft key. Next, we will go through the steps for performing a dermatoscopic examination to ensure optimal image quality with a smart scope. To ensure the camera is stable for imaging, it is recommended that both the patient and examiner are seated. Select the preferred focus mode by pressing the right soft key. It is recommended to use autofocus. Select skin or portrait mode depending on the target of examination by pressing the left soft key. Turn the light on by pressing the shutter button halfway down. Press the optics module gently onto the skin. 
You may use immersion fluids as well as aqueous disinfectant. Adjust the illumination settings by using the left and right arrow keys. Be careful not to overexpose the image. If needed, activate zoom by pressing the right soft key. Use the arrow keys up and down to adjust the zoom. Capture the image by pressing the shutter button. In order to ensure best quality, you should take multiple images during each examination. If multiple patients are examined during one session, create a new file folder for each patient by pressing and holding the middle key. If you want to preview images, go to the device menu and select preview images. The most recent images will be the top images in the file folder. Images are uploaded to computer by placing the camera in the cradle. The image transfer works through USB connection in a similar way to any other digital camera. If you need support or have any questions or concerns regarding the usage of the device, please contact our customer service at service at optimed.com. Thank you.